Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome to my channel and to a, a weekly warming video and what I've used up for the past few weeks. Um, so, uh, it's candles and wax melts, um, scentsy and otherwise. Actually, I only think, as, as far as wax melts go, I only think I have one that isn't scentsy this time around. Um, so some have been completely used up and some I'm still working through. Um, but before I get into the wax, I did finish the counter clean in the winter berry apple tea. This was amazing. I'm almost done with the other products, the hand soap and the dish soap as well. Um, so I just say I finished them too. I just don't have the bottles. And then I finished in the Scentsy Pods some Bonfire Beach and some Coco Lime. I don't have the container for this one. So as you can see, if you don't know what these are, we have fan diffusers that don't use wax. Instead, they use these cool little pods and they're filled with scent beads. And so you put them in, turn it on, and the air blows out the fragrance. Uh, we have a mini fan diffuser. We have a wall fan diffuser, which is perfect for high traffic areas or if you have curious little fingers or tails. Um, that you worry about in regards to wax. Um, we have an air purifier, which is amazing, which these can be used in as well. And the Sensi Go, which is portable and rechargeable. So our wall fan items are awesome. I love them. Uh, <clears throat> our fan diffusers, they're great. Love them. So that's that. And then I, as far as candles go from Bath & Body Works, I was burning the strawberry pound cake, which is a good scent. I do enjoy it. This was from a couple years ago. It takes me forever to get through candles. <laughs> so strawberry pound cake, it is a yummy one. It's a more like a strawberry candy rather than like a fresh strawberry to me, um, but it is enjoyable. Then from Village Candle, I burned fresh lemon, which is lemon zest, lemongrass, and fresh greens. So this is just a very bright, clean um, lemon scent. And then from Country Candle, which is part of Kringle's candle line, um, is cilantro, apple, and lime. This is a really nice set. scent. Unfortunately, it hasn't been super strong for me. Um, probably about a five at most, four to five. And then from Goose Creek is Catching Fireflies. I really love the label on this. The scent, not my favorite, but I'm trying to get through it. It, it, it has patchouli and I've come to realize I'm not a huge fan of patchouli, um, but it's like a woodsy earthy type fragrance. There's other things besides patchouli, so that's why I tolerate it. If it was just like straight patchouli, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to burn it. And then also Goose Creek is nectarine and honey. This one is really nice. It's yummy and nectarine and honey. That's pretty much what it smells like. So there's that one. Okay, on to the wax. This is my only non scentsy wax. This is by Get Fictional, which is a vendor wax and it is the Michelson compound, which is cedar and redwood, florals, tobacco, and bourbon. It is, the floral is what I get in it the most. It was nice. I used it in um, my kid's bathroom. I probably wouldn't get this one again. The one I would get again is the Elijah Michelson one. So that one's amazing. But this one was nice while I had it. Okay. Now on to Scentsy. I finished a love story. This came out in June. I think it was June of last year to bring back my bar. As you can tell, it was a juicy one. I do really enjoy this one in my bedroom. It is one of those sweet, um, sultry type fragrances. Then I finished a Love and Kisses Mini, which is the old Minnie Mouse fragrance. This was a, it's like a peach, um, 
peach and berry vanilla type fragrance. It's very nice. I had it in my club at one point in time. So there's that one. I finished a vanilla suede. This one came out December of, no, January 2020 in the Bring Back My Bar, I think. Don't hold me to that. I'm pretty sure that's when was it came out last. This is really nice. I do really like it. I was considering putting it in my club, but I think I'll just stock up on it again the next time it comes around in Bring Back My Bar. It's a really nice, unique suede vanilla scent. Very nice, very um, sexy man type fragrance, but um, not overly cologne-ish. So I really like that one a lot. From the Valentine's collection was Together Forever. This was the floral of the bunch. If I remember, this was, I think it was Sweet Pea or Peony one of those. Um, it had other things too, but it was um, a kind of powdery floral um, the most. That's what I smelled the most. So it wasn't my favorite. It was probably my least favorite of them, but I finished that. I finished a Berry Bright, which is a sweet like blue raspberry candy type scent. It's really nice. So there's that one. I'm almost done with Cinnamon Vanilla. Um, this one is a classic. It's been around a long time. Um, not my favorite, honestly. There's something in it that just kind of throws me off. I normally like cinnamon. I normally like vanilla, um, but I don't know. There's something in this one that just doesn't do it for me. Um, then something that does do it for me is Harbor's Edge, which is from my club. My favorite, I did melt two bars. This one I finished, this one I'm still working on. Love the scent so much. It is an aquatic um, blackberry with a little bit of woodsy quality to it as well, but not like evergreen, maybe sandalwood, I don't know. Some people say it's kind of cologne for them. I can see where they're coming from, but to me, it doesn't read cologne, just like a manly, aquatic, sweet scent. I love it so much. So that is Harbor's Edge. I finished a Sun Soaked Petals, which is a spring floral. It is available now for purchase. It's, I think daffodils was the main note in it. It's nice. It is a floral though, but it's more of a green spring, um, well, daffodil floral. So not super powdery, just fresh green spring, um, like new life type floral, if that makes sense. Everything's waking up from a cold winter and the flowers are blooming. It's beautiful out, sun, blue skies, you know, that's what it kind of reminds me of. It, it's really nice. So that is Sun Soaked Petals. I finished a Here Comes the Sunflowers. This one, if you're comparing it with Sun Soaked Petals, this one is sweeter. This is a sweeter floral. There is, I think it's apples in this. I'm pretty sure it's apple mixed with floral notes and it's like um well here comes the sunflowers it's a sunflower note so i am working on sun ripened berry which is a nice mixed berry fragrance i think the it's strawberry i think raspberry those are the two most prominent berries that I get in it. At least it smells raspberry-ish to me. Um, it could be something else, but those are the ones I get. I know definitely it is strawberry, but I can't remember the others, but I think it is raspberry, black raspberry, something like that. Banana berry, I finished a banana berry. Um, this came out this one was from the Easter collection last year, but I know it just came out in <clears throat> Bring Back My Bar in January. 
I do really like the scent and I'm normally not like a fake banana fragrance type person, but this one is pretty much just like a strawberry banana smoothie, except stronger on the banana end compared to the strawberry end. I actually think it would be good mixed with this Sunripened Berry if you want to get more um, strawberry mixed in or sugared strawberry would be really good too if you want to smell more of the strawberry, but I do really like this one. Okay, from the um, Chase Rainbows collection, I melted orange, and this one does, I know, I mentioned it in the past that it reminds me of um, from the Fantasy Wax collection, which came out two years ago, um, the Pixie Sparkle. And when I melted it, it still reminded me of that, um, but I could tell the difference. This one is citrusy, whereas that one wasn't really citrus. It was more of, I think if I remember right, it was like a berry, but like berry and musk and vanilla. This is like citrus and musk and vanilla, if I remember right. So it's like a, a, like a sultry bedroomy type of citrus. It sounds really weird, but I did enjoy this. I do prefer Pixie Sparkle if I had to choose between the two of them. Um, but I have enjoyed that one. Not my favorite, but I do like it. Another Sun Ripened Berry. I just tried for the first time Mocha Doodle. And this is really nice. It, I really don't get coffee very much at all in it. It's chocolatey and caramel and vanilla and just a tiny, tiny touch of coffee. It's really, really nice and a nice performer as well. So that's Mocha Doodle. I finished up the Up bar, what is this called? Adventure is out there. And Up is my favorite Pixar movie. I love it so much. So I was excited to get this one. Um, it's fine. Uh, it reminds me a lot of um, make a splash it's that along that same lines. So it has melon <clears throat> in it. I know I've mentioned in the past melon. I'm not super into melon um, in regards to home fragrance. So again, not my favorite. I don't dislike it, but it wasn't my favorite. So that is adventures out there. You're the one, and this is the one that was my favorite from the Valentine's Day 3 pack. It's a fresh, sweet fragrance. It reminds me of, um, it's like in the same family as aloe water and cucumber. Um, sweeter though, or iridescent pearl. Iridescent pearl is like a, more of like a tropical -y version, whereas this is a sweeter, what is that? I'm trying to think of what this is. I can't remember, but a sweeter fruit, not tropical version, but I like it. Um, and then It's Love, I finished this one. This is one of those candied berry, um, almost like sweet tarts. It smells a lot like sweet tarts to me. So that's It's Love. Then I worked on Plumeria Peach, which I do love. This is really nice. It's peach forward, but you do get that Plumeria in it as well. And it's, it's really nice. I do like that one. I'm glad it came back into the regular catalog. Finished another. Oh, finished this one. I didn't finish this one. Um, let's see. Chase Rainbow's Yellow. This was my favorite on cold. And I did like it warming. It is very nice. It reminded me, I know I mentioned it reminded me of those um, hard lemon candies that had the sugar, crystallized sugar around them. And um, on cold, it still does. On warming, it didn't as much. But it is a nice lemon scent, so that is yellow. So that's probably my second favorite now that I've warmed it. I finished the Big Hero 6, Would You Like a Hug Bar? Um, this one did not really enjoy. It is very 
cloyingly sweet for me. I know it's kind of one of those um, like it or dislike it type scents. I didn't hate it, but I won't get it again. Too, too, too sweet. I finished a Luna. This is a beautiful scent. This is one I recommend um, for those that normally do not like floral fragrances. I always recommend this one. If, and they want, you know, someone wants to try a floral, this is a good one to recommend. It's so, so pretty. So Luna, I am almost done with Cloudberry Dreams. I liked this one a lot when it first came out in the catalog. I think it came out in the fall catalog, but two falls ago, if I remember right, or it stayed, or it was last spring and it stayed into the fall. I don't know. Um, my nose has changed though. I don't like it as much as I used to. So there's that. I had melted an Atlantic air. This is a really pretty aquatic scent. It's like a white floral aquatic. It's very, very nice. Then I melted a hibiscus water, which came out in the summer collection two summers ago. It's very pretty. I love that one. Um, it was in my club. I, I've taken it out, but it was in my club. I melted huckleberry and clementine. This was from the Bring Back My Bar. This last Bring Back My Bar, yeah. This came out with huckleberry sage as well. Um, I know this is kind of a love or hate scent as well. I do enjoy it, but I probably wouldn't um, go out of my way to get another one. I finished a Picked For You, which is was from the Mother's Day collection two Mother's Days ago. This one's really nice. This is actually pretty similar to Hibiscus Water. Um, they, they're along the same lines, um, that florally sweet, fruit scents, but this one's sweeter. I wish this came out in body care. It's so pretty. Um, I finished a Monstropolis, Monsters Inc. Monstropolis. Uh, this is like a very limited type fragrance. It's similar to, um, or I think it's similar to um, the We're All Mad Here, the Alice in Wonderland scent. Uh, but that one has a little more like bubbliness, effervescence to it. Then I finished 100 Acre Wood. This is a pretty scent, but it's very light. I couldn't smell it even in my bathroom, but I put it in our downstairs powder room, um, which is uh, even smaller space. And I was able to smell it there and it was pretty, but that's pretty much the only spot I could smell it. <laughs> then Chase Rainbow's Blue. Uh, this is a laundry scent. I'm, I'm not really a fan of that one all that much. So then Chase Rainbow's Green, which was nice. It's a like a fresher apple, like, like very green and fresh. I think it had cactus leaf mixed in with the green apple, something like that. So it's a very, very fresh green apple, not very sweet at all. Um, smelling it, you know what? It kind of smells like along the lines of if you peel the apple, the green apple for making apple pie and you have that leftover green apple skin, that's what it smells like. It's very similar to that type of um, apple smell. So that's probably my third favorite of all of them. And then last but not least, this was my first favorite out of all the Chase Rainbows collection. And it's the Red Bar. And this is the one that really surprised me because it does, like I said in the prior, I'm not huge into melon scents in my home fragrance. And this has watermelon, so I was very skeptical but on cold I really liked it and then when I melted it I loved it it's so good the strawberry really comes out and there is a little bit of cherry but it's mixed in all three of those 
fragrances mix really well. And it actually reminded me of, I can't remember who made it, but there's a uh, juice, juice pops that you can buy. They might still be around still. It might be Dole um, that were like strawberry juice pops, juice popsicles that had the actual like strawberry fruit in them. When it was melting, it totally reminded me of those. And I love those. I still love them if I can find them. But melting, that's the total vibe I get. And it's delicious and refreshing and happy type fragrance. So that's Chase Rainbows Red. So there you go, you guys. Thanks for spending some time with me. My website and all that info is in the description for you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, TTFN. Tata -ta for now.